What's up, y'all? As you can see, I'm out here at the bench in my garage today. We're going to do a little cleanup and a little barrel recovery on my SIG P322 barrel from that crazy bunch of leading that we got testing those uh, Winchester White Box 22 LRs a week or so ago. If y'all hadn't seen that video, I'll leave a link up above to show you how the barrel got in this kind of shape. But it's going to be very difficult to see in this wide angle lens camera, but this barrel is completely leaded to the point where lead is actually flowering out of the end of it. Probably about an inch from what I can see in the bore scope is just completely leaded up. But let me see if I can get you a decent picture through this bore scope. Uh, I'm using it without the camera because it won't even go in the muzzle end. There's so much lead that my bore scope probe won't even go in the muzzle end anymore. So my camera, my little camera uh, right angle lens thing here is not much use once I get to down to the lid. So let me show you what we got here. So headed into the end of the chamber here, as you can see going in, rifling, lands and grooves looks really nice up in here, all the way through here, as you can see, and then boom, you can see where the problem starts coming in here. Like I say, pretty much uh, within an inch of the end of the muzzle there, just completely lead fouled. Y'all can see all that. I mean, just like chunks and chunks of lead. And that's as far as I can push the probe of this thing. I can't get it. I can't get it any further. So if you take a little measurement there, I can get to within about half an inch of the end with this probe, maybe an inch. But again, I mean, as you can see, just completely, completely leaded. Start streaking there and just completely covers, fills up the grooves, just covers up the lands. The rifle is just completely gone. And you can see the end of the barrel. It's not even round anymore just because of how much lead is there. But let's see if we can get this thing cleaned up. As you can see, I've already got the barrel pulled off of the frame. Um, if you're wondering, those y'all with these P322s, you don't normally take this off just for a field stripping, but the barrel sits in there in that compartment like that. Obviously, you push it back in there, and you got two pins, and you can see it's notched there on the bottom of the barrel. One of them's a roll pin, one of them's a regular pin, so you'll need you a couple little punches to get those out. But you just tap those out, and the barrel just comes right out of the front of that sleeve there. Now, hopefully this isn't going to be super difficult to get this lead and get it cleaned out of here. Uh, what I got here, I got some of this Shooter's Choice lead remover solvent. So I'm going to try some of that. I got some regular bore cleaner, some Hoppies 9 or whatever else I might need. But I believe that Shooter's Choice is going to get the job done. Got my little push rod here. I got some jags for some patches, and I got a couple different bore brushes just got a standard type of brass bore brush here and then i got this one that's supposed to be for heavy fouling um just a lot stiffer the brass little rings on it's a lot stiffer kind of like a, a, a copper pot scrubber kind of action without having to use the little pot scrubber so that ought to do good and of course i got my mops and all that good jazz in case i need to use them so the first thing i'm gonna do is get me a good bit of this lead remover juice down in the barrel let it just slop it on in there run through there run through the barrel i'm gonna get a little bit on the other end here i'm gonna let this sit for just a few minutes and uh see see if it'll kind of loosen it up a little bit all right i decided i'm gonna do a little test pass with my little patches here it's only been sitting in this barrel for about 30 seconds so i just want to see if any lead will push out with just the patches after just about 30 seconds and it's super tight. I mean, this thing is super tight, y'all. There's no, there's no pushing them patches through there at all. It just ain't gonna happen. I mean, this barrel is just clogged with lead down in there. That's incredible. So let me do a couple of another little squirts and I'm gonna let this sit in here for maybe about five minutes and then I'll come back and work on it. All right, y'all, this thing's only been soaking for about five minutes, but I'm impatient and I don't have time to let this thing sit here while I just wait on it to soak all day. So we're gonna do a little elbow grease and see if we can't get some of this lead out and see what it does so i'm gonna work with this so-called heavy fouling brush and see what i can get and i'm gonna tell you what that sucker's tight man let's see if i can go from the muzzle end and get anything happening work it a little at a time i don't want it jammed in there i mean it's so much lead y'all that it's just it's just jammed in there all right, y'all, this brush right here is honestly just too doggone stiff. It's it's just too much. Uh, it don't have any give at all, so the way this barrel is just pretty much clogged completely full, I can't get it to push through, so we're just going to use a standard type of brush and see what kind of look I have there. I mean, and even this one, once I get to there, that, that's it, y'all. I mean, I'm right there, and then it gets crazy hard to pull back out. I mean, this, this lid is caked in here. I mean, it's caked in here, y'all. Let's just keep running it back and forth and we'll see what it does. It's definitely pulling out a ton of lead. I can tell you that. So let me just keep on working it. I'm just going back and forth with the bore brush here. 
and it's bringing out bunches of lead all kind of lead down here y'all we all saw it in the <laughs> y'all saw it in the uh in the bore cam and all right now now we're getting somewhere now i can push it on through so it's definitely breaking it up definitely breaking it up it definitely once it gets to the rod part it's still wanting to be stuck i mean that that lead is so thick that i just i still can't push my rod completely through there all right y'all this has been an absolute nightmare um it's still not clean just yet uh like i say i was scrubbing with that that was just too much it was so thick in there so i switched over to this regular just type of bore brush here got it actually jammed in here down there where the lead was so i had to use my torch had to heat the lead up um use another rod to chase this other rod this rod out of it um it, it's it's a nightmare y'all this stuff is absolutely glued to this barrel in here so um i've got some more solvent in here i'm gonna let it soak a little bit longer and then i'm just gonna keep on brushing with this brush here my brush is getting all clogged up i know you can't see it but all this mess down here all these little black silver stuff all that's lead that i've got out so my brush is all clogged but i'm gonna keep scrubbing with it and i got another brush after i get most of it out uh, i'm gonna work on that other brush since it's a little more aggressive so hopefully it can get down into grooves but yeah this this has been an absolute nightmare so far y'all all right y'all i've been scrubbing on this thing for the last 15 20 minutes and i think i finally got all the lead out of it you've been using both of these bore brushes uh chasing it with some patches and some, using the lead remover clp use some more heat to kind of soften the lead up to get it out but i think i've got it all out now so next thing i'm gonna do is just polish the bore up just a little bit i'm gonna use this bushmaster stuff i like this stuff here i've used it uh, quite a bit it's a lot thinner than something like mothers i mean you can use some mothers uh, honestly you don't have to do this at all what i'm doing here but since i've already got it out and i'm doing such a good cleaning job i finished i figured i might as well polish it up a little bit so i'm just going to take some of this stuff here and put a little bit of it on my on a uh, mop here show you real quick this stuff like i say i like it because uh it's not as thick as mother's and uh, that mother's, you know, you can get some residue stuck down in your cracks of just little crevices and all that good stuff. So we'll use this stuff here. I'm not going to get super aggressive with this stuff. It's not really an aggressive polish anyway. It's just more or less to kind of shine it up, but just pull it through a couple times, back and forth. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's just a mop. So pull that back and forth a few times there. All right, I made several passes with that. Just going back and forth, I rinsed it out with some brake clean. So now I'm just going to hit it with some CLP. Make sure it's nice and lubed up. Let that soak in just a little bit. And then I'm just going to run some patches through it and make sure we're all good to go. So I'll run these kind of rough ones through it first. And as you can see, it's rinsing absolutely spotless nothing but the clp on there on the patch so this is this barrel's probably well it's definitely it's the cleanest it's ever been and it's i'm sure it's the cleanest barrel in in my whole entire collection i can just tell you right now so got that one i'll run a couple little cotton ones through it here got that one again absolutely spotless 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 just exactly like we wanted to see all right y'all it's the moment of truth the patches are coming out pretty much spotless let's go inside with the bore cam and see what we got so headed into the chamber past the chamber super shiny down in here see a couple little pieces of lint from my cotton uh patch but other than that absolute mirror finish on this thing and as you can see it, it, there's actually a round exit on my muzzle now instead of just filled with lead pieces so squeaky squeaky clean there i don't see anything left behind like i say other than a couple little flecks of lint from my cotton patch so definitely i think that's a mission accomplished but let's move the let's use the mirror attachment and uh, i want to just look at the sides on the lands and the grooves right quick all right here's our mirror attachment let's see what kind of view we can get here so going in there very very nice shiny clean all the lands and grooves look fantastic mirror finish all the way down it so looking really good my crown looks really nice still no damage there i don't see any damage to lands and grooves where i was doing a bunch of scrubbing and stuff from the cleaning rods or anything so i'd say that right there is a mission accomplished y'all all right, the only thing left is to slap it back together, make sure everything still works. So like I say, you got the two notches there to line up with your two pins there. So you just simply put the barrel in here, push it on back. 
Once you get that pushed back, you'll see that the pinholes line up with the cuts in the bottom of the barrel there. So you got two pins, like I said earlier, you got a roll pin and then a solid pin. The roll pin goes in the front. Now you want to put these pins in from the side where there's a little bevel. You're probably not going to be able to see it real good, but there's a little bit of a bevel on it, that hole there. And this one on the front, on the other side's flush. Both of those are flush. These on this side are kind of beveled. So your roll pin goes in the front, just get her started there. Find you the right roll pin punch, which is this one here, and then just tap it on home. So we got that in, flush with the other side. Then you're gonna wanna do the same thing with your solid pin. Now this pin here, it's got a basically a rough kind of flat cut on one side and the pin's a little bit beveled on the other side. You want the rough flat side to go in first into that beveled hole. So you want the beveled side of the pin on this side here. So just take your little punch. We'll take this one here. And same thing, just send it on home. And there you go, both your pins are in. So then from there, you just take your recoil spring assembly, slide your spring on there, slide this little bushing onto it there. That goes down over the barrel past the threads right here. Then you just take your little thread cover there, hold back on that bushing so you can keep the uh, tension off the spring, makes it easier to get this thread protector on, and then you just screw it on down. That's all there is to that. Then you just put your slide back on, make sure you take down levers flipped up, put the front end there, pull it on back, boom, slide down, good to go. So there we are, back in business. And I think that's going to wrap it up, y'all. Uh, like I said, this was definitely not an easy task. This was actually an absolute nightmare. Uh, it wasn't just as simple as swabbing it and getting that lead to fall out. Uh, I had to use this lead remover. Uh, I had, like I say, ended up having to heat the barrel with a torch to soften that lead up, scrub the actual heck out of it. I ended up bending one of my little rods there because it got caught in the in the barrel on the end. I pulled it out. It pulled the little end off the, uh, the scrubbing brush there. It was a nightmare mary y'all this was definitely not an easy task again if you hadn't seen the video where this barrel did get all leaded up by those winchester white box 22s i'll leave a link up above for that now i've got to take this thing back out and re-zero my dot and everything where i adjusted it because i was getting so many flyers because of the crazy accuracy loss from that lead so i got to take that out there and get that done for sure i know this wasn't one of my most exciting videos but if y'all did enjoy the video got some use out of it reach down and hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. As always, I appreciate all my range gang members for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single one of y'all that watches my videos hits the thumbs up, hits the subscribe button and leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this little process here and if y'all had to de-lead a barrel that was so full of lead like this before, what kind of process did you use to get it done? I got plenty way more exciting videos on the way so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for those and in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared and I'll see you soon.